In this video, I'm going to show some uses for the Follow Me tool. Here I have a tabletop and I'd like to put a bevel on it. It's in a group, so I'm going to draw a profile and then select the perimeter around which I want to extrude the profile. Then I'll click Follow Me. The highlighting is gone, but that's okay. This will still work. Click on the profile, and there's your bevel. Here's a surface that could be a door. If I wanted to draw some woodworking on it, I could do it all manually, or I could draw a profile and then extrude that profile. For example, I'm going to select the whole face because it's what I want to extrude around. Click on Follow Me and then click on the profile. And that's what I get. I have a door with one panel and some trim. And of course, I can alter that profile to get a different look. For instance, I can add another cut and see what that looks like. Now let's try this again. Select, follow me, click on the profile. Well, that's interesting. I might keep that or do a little adjusting. But the point is, if you can think out a profile in advance, it can save you a lot of time in modeling every single little piece. Here I have two groups and they're separate pieces. Maybe this could be some sort of box. I've drawn an arc inside the group and if I want to extrude it, I open the group's editing box, click on the perimeter, click on Follow Me. Well, I'm having a little hard time clicking on that profile, so I'm going to go back and just click on the face, not the edges. Click on Follow Me, and now I can click on that profile more easily. And there's my curved perimeter. Now let's look at this. I have this shape that I drew with the pencil and then with the weld extension I welded all the lines together. That makes it possible to use Follow Me on it. So I want to revolve this around this circle. Click on the circle, click on Follow Me, click on the profile, and I get this shape. This profile will revolve around any circle. I'll just get different results based on where that circle is located. Let's revolve it around this one. Select it, Follow Me, click and see what I got now. So those are just some ways you can use Follow Me.